and he told you that he pulled the gun out, he turned, and he just cocked the gun, right? He did state that, yes. He didn't say he pulled the trigger, right? I don't recall him saying that. And you never tested the hammer of that gun for DNA, did you? I do not know the FBI lab's process for processing a firearm for DNA. Eventually, you all sent that firearm off, not to have the firearm tested its hammer for DNA, but rather for it to end up being destroyed in the testing, or broken in the testing, if you prefer. The firearm was sent for DNA, and additional testing was not conducted until later. Is it your understanding that Hannah Gutierrez is admitted to burning that box on the set? Yes. And is it your understanding that <clears throat> Hannah Gutierrez has actually provided evidence to the Sheriff's Department that she was provided that box by her father? Yes. And the Good Samaritan who came in with the live rounds and was telling you Seth Kinney's the bad guy that happened how long after the incident? That happened well after the incident in Febu after <clears throat> February, so March of this year. And let me ask you, uh, Ms. Popple, the ammunition that the Good Samaritan, Mr. Teske, uh, the close friend of Hannah Gutierrez's dad, uh, when he, that, that ammunition that he brought to you after her conviction, you still have it? Yes. You can bring it in here and you can show it to the jury, right? Yes. And they can see for themselves that it does not match the live ammunition from the set of rust, correct? Yes. And that is obvious just when you look at it, is it not? Yes. Do you know how many boxes of dummy ammunition were provided to the set of rust by Seth Kinney? If I recall correctly, just one. Do you know how many boxes of dummy ammunition were provided to the set by Hannah Gutierrez? No, I do not. Okay, fair enough. You were asked some questions about Mr. Kinney being present at the search of the prop tr truck. Do you recall that? Yes. Do you remember why he was present? I don't recall the details of why he was present. Do you recall how the Sheriff's Department got access to the safe? Uh, yes, he, uh, Seth Kenny provided us with the combination. And the firearms that you recovered, real and fake, who did they belong to? Is my understanding they belong to Seth Kenny. As you sit here today, do you have any question about who introduced the live ammunition to the set of rust? No. Who do you believe it was based on your investigation? Hannah. And did someone have to come and unlock that safe for you? Yes. Who was that? Seth Kenny. Did you ever discover any evidence throughout your entire investigation that Seth Kenny supplied live rounds to the set of rest? No. Did you ever discover any evidence that Seth Kinney was present on the set of Rust until you met him at the prop truck? No. During your investigation, did you ever discover any evidence that Mr. Kinney modified or altered the gun that was provided to Mr. Baldwin? No.
all behind you, Steve. You didn't do anything.